Good morning, this is Russell Green with Alexander County Emergency Services. Uh, take this opportunity to let our citizens know what's happening in Alexander County today, April the 16th. Uh, we've partnered with uh, the Alexander County Rescue Squad, the NC Heart Team, State Emergency Management to conduct some heart training at Rocky Face Park. The park uh, appears to present us a great opportunity. Uh, we're very fortunate here in the county to be able to utilize this facility for this training. And at this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Mike Cook. Mike's going to serve as our public information officer for the day. He can give us a little background on the HART program and where state emergency management comes into play. Mr. Cook? Uh, Russell, um, shortly after Hurricane Floyd um, uh, hit in um, the 90s, we realized that we had a shortfall of resources that can do rescue uh, from the air. Uh, there was a... Um, Big effort on the part of uh, local resources as well as state resources and uh, military resources to form a team uh, that was able to work under military aircraft uh, to provide uh, rescue services, whether it's uh, off of rocky faces such as what you see here today uh, or in uh, water scenarios where you have uh, widespread flooding uh, like we've had in eastern North Carolina uh, post hurricanes. So this resource has, um, has evolved over the years. Uh, we were one of the first uh, states in the nation that put together a program in which we have civilian rescuers that work under uh, the military aircraft. Uh, these are highly trained personnel uh, that uh, have to pass rigorous uh, swimming standards as well as rescue technician standards in order to be a member of this team. There are 30 plus members of this team. We use three uh, platforms. One is the UH-60, uh, which you will see uh, flying here today, that will be doing uh, rescue scenarios. And you'll, we also have the UH-72s, which is a somewhat smaller aircraft, but can also work in the same um, venue, uh, whether it be over water or off of um, uh, rock faces or in, in the uh, uh, mountains, uh, deep into the mountains where it's hard for us to facilitate short-term uh, rescues and, and carry-outs of injured persons. Uh, there's also the uh, Bell 407 helicopter that is used and that's belongs to North Carolina Highway Patrol. Uh, that is uh, to do short-haul type carries where they just actually pick up um, the, the person uh, uh, under a rope and take them to a, another location where they can facilitate a uh, uh, putting them on an the EMS unit or actually flying them out with another uh, medical helicopter. Program has um, is, is a very intense program. It uh, takes a, a lot of time to uh, put the uh, these resources together, but in the event that they're needed, uh, obviously uh, we we have those resources that we can put in play. Uh, today is just one of the training scenarios uh, that we do uh, on a quarterly basis and then uh, monthly they do some scenarios where they do not have to go to uh, away from the bases and take the technicians to those locations to do. So what we feel like is, um, is uh, in North Carolina we're very fortunate that we have this resource that we can put in play when needed uh, and we uh, feel like that uh, as going forward that uh, it's going to be a great program for North Carolina to have. Thank you Mr. Cook. Um, as you can tell there's a lot of time and effort. A lot of men and women spend a lot of time training uh, in the coupling of uh, military resource as Mr. Cook said with uh, local volunteers. Uh, reminds me that we're very fortunate here in Alexander County to have the dedicated volunteers and the fire service and the rescue squad. Uh, Rescue Squad's a big participant today and we greatly appreciate their participation. Uh, they're providing all of our survivors for these technicians to qualify with. Again, uh, we appreciate the opportunity to share this with our citizens. We think we're very fortunate here to get this kind of training locally. And uh, we hope we never have to have it here, but I, I'm confident that we have good qualified people here. Thank you. It's best if you watch the evolution, like looking at Russell, if you guys want to just hover up on the rock, find guys get out of position when they get off their particular station. Hey, buddy. Handed, or even handed off to somebody, another person of their hand. Do that
As I was talking about earlier, uh, we, we use civilian resources uh, that support the NC HART program. They work on the military aircraft. The gentleman I have here with me today is Jerry Rogers. He's actually a member of Charlotte Fire Department who sponsors him to be a member of this team. Jerry, could you talk a little bit about what you've gone through to be a tech for uh, the NC HART team? Yeah, the NC HART team is comprised of teams all across the state of North Carolina and are used in any kind of emergency situation that we're called upon from emergency management. A lot of times this may be a hurricane deployment towards the coast, uh, mudslides up in the mountains, rock face water rescue, swift water rescue, and other assets that would require an air asset to come in and, and be capable of affecting rescues. It is nice that we do use a lot of the local resources. What this does is allow them to understand that if we're needed, how to contact us, how to get us uh, mission ready. We can come up and, uh, and, and take care of events that, that they may be overwhelmed by, different things like that, or they don't have the equipment. A lot of times we're up in, in, in Burke County and stuff, they have extended carryouts where they actually put a team in there, they locate the victim, they take care of the victim and the survivor, make sure everything's uh, ready for transport out. Then they may have a five or six, eight, 10, 12 hour carry out. And in that time, a lot of times it's easier to call for an air asset to get them to a medical facility in the, in the first hour of transport. So it works out well. Jerry, we appreciate your time to take over and come over here and talk to us and uh, to tell the folks out Alexander County what we have going here and uh, appreciate your time and dedication to, uh, to volunteer to support this program. Thank you.